Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to another day with Mariam. Today I have my daughter and a friend and we're going to show you how to make slime. So they're going to just play with the slime and show you guys basically how to make slime if you already don't know. So if you want to know how to make slime, please keep on watching the video. And this video is my friend Neha and this is my friend Neha and this is my friend Neha. My name is Neha and my friend's name is Hidea and we're going to make slime today. Yeah. So what do you need? You can explain so there what um, you need for the slime. Um, these you don't really need, but we're gonna add them to make it look really pretty. And we have glitter and lots of different colors of paint. We also have PVA. And we have some formamil color for the activator. And that you can find in where can we find it in Lidl? Lidl, yeah. Or in Lidl. And the so PVA glue you can find in Poundland. Poundland, and the colors also you can Poundland. the glitters you can also find in Poundland, and the colors as well. So it is expensive, but you can make it cheap by going to Poundland. And so first we're gonna add the glue. Then we can add a little stuff to your career. So this is what's happening now. We need something to mix. The colour's going in and we need a spatula for the colour. Hold on. Okay, okay, that's a lot. Actually, the colour's not going to come out. We need okay, okay. Let's add a bit of purple. Okay. Just add a little purple. Alright, we need to add a little purple. Now, all the different colours are going in. Okay, one by one, you can share. As you can see, this is the first process of the slime. Add some more paint. Now we're going to use it. Have you used a formula? Oh um, no, we have to think it's a little contrast. Now there's different, all sorts of different glitters. Make sure you don't put all of them. You just um, use whatever, and then you're gonna mix. Wow, you can see. Just in the beginning, can you see? Wow. That one I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, monkey, put it everywhere. Monkey, put it everywhere. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Not too much glitter will do that. Fine, I'm covered in glitter. And I'm getting ready the activator. You're really clean and I'm covered in glitter. Now it goes in the formula, the exciting part, which makes the exciting part when it starts turning you can add it. But a little bit at the time Sorry, because too much will just not look. Add a bit more because this is a lot of But not too much, that's too much. Stop. Is it adding to that one? This is called Formula Color from Lidl. And it's really fun to use laundry detergent on other things because it has a really nice smell. But don't add too much activator because then your slime will be really hard and rubbery and it won't be very fun to pick with. We are adding about 100 millimeters, milliliters, 100 milliliters, or maybe 200 because this is a whole bag. It's a really big amount of slime. Wow. And we're going to share it with our friends. Yeah. Slime is very popular and um, not many people know how to make it. So today we're going to be making it and sharing it with lots of people. Now it's my turn to mix. Make the amazing fun slime. Oops. 
Mm -hmm. How are we doing so far there? Yeah? Good. Very good. Very close until we can start kneading it with our hands. I'll do it on the table. Just with it in the box, it's not ready yet. So what makes the slime? The formula is the main key to the slime, right? Yes. yes. Well, you can make it with different stuff as well. You can yeah, make it with um, what's yeah. called borax. If you want to make fluffy slime, you can also add foam. You can have so, isolation. Um, shaving cream. cream. Mm -hmm. shaving cream. And you can also make it with contact lens solution and baking soda. Yeah, your yes, contact solution and baking soda. Now uh, baking I think we can start playing with it with our hands. Oh. 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 We have more. Now we should stop playing with it in our hands. Now we get dirty. Oh, with, with it in the hand. Uh, you have to do it. Come on, hold us. I can get my hand in the open. Ah, I'll ask you. Why don't you stop looking at So now, ooh! I need to touch it. I feel like I'm in school, back in school, playing with kids. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Okay, I'll show you how to play with it. It's so good. Wow! Oh my god, look! Oh my god, look! Can I put it on this? Yeah. Oh, that came out really good. Oh my goodness! It looks like someone's. What's it called? It looks like, you know, when you have a baby, there's a placenta that comes with it, and the placenta dries up. It looks like that now. See? Yeah, okay. It's too rubbery. Wow. Too so what do we add, add, add too much in there? Activator. Yeah. And now it's a bit more. For the formula. Mm -hmm. oh. Can I with them? It can easily be fixed oh. with even to make you? sure you add oh, a tiny water. bit. Activator. Oh, even though it's rubbery, it. it can easily be fixed with water or some more glue. Should we put more glue in? No. It is very rubbery. No, it's not slimy. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Inshallah you all are well. Ki kabor, kaifa halek. Um, I'm just gonna make, prepare my lunch and uh, well dinner. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do now. I've got five slices of five slices of salmon fish sliced here. I'm gonna make, put some pepper. I put some salt in there already. Now I'm gonna put some. Basil, some paprika, measurement is completely up to you whatever you want to put and then in goes with olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, well it's extra virgin but as you know some of our back home they call it extra virgin but we call it extra virgin I'm going to give that a good mix I'm going to show you a little trick here make sure you um, cover the coat with all of the spice that you've just that I just put. So make sure everything goes inside properly marinated, please. Give that a good rub in there. Now, see, you've got that stick, that that, that um, what's it called, the skin here. So what happens is when you put that on on foil or something, you get stuck. The best way to do it is get lemon, and the lemon will suck. You put the slice of the salmon on top of the lemon. So the lemon juice goes in there as well and you just take the fish. It does not get stuck to it. Try it. See if it works for you. 
Oh, I need to cut. I need to cut one more lemon. Can you get me one more lemon out from the fridge, please? Sorry, we are short of lemon here a bit. Well, I'm going to prepare my dinner, so for why not bring you guys to me? So you be busy cooking, you guys. So today, not been quite a busy day. Went to Grand Cross in the morning. They opened a new crispy creme. What's it called? Crispy cream or crispy creme? Crispy cream. Krispy Kreme and they're such a cheat what they did is they had a, like a spin thing and you have to queue up and what happens is you go there when your turn comes you spin the wheel and then if you land on like 12 a dozen of donuts one single donut whatever they only had like three of them and the rest of them sorry not a winner sorry right and then they gave you these vouchers and I thought the vouchers was like to use it for today when I went to the till, they goes to me, oh, sorry, the vouchers are for tomorrow. And I'm like, so what's the point of you opening sh store advertising everywhere and you're not giving nothing to no one? And then as usual, you know, I just left the store and I thought, you know what, I don't want any donuts, thank you very much. And I just left. And they have some amazing sale going on in H&M, in Zara, um, River Island, um, Hollister, um, like uh, what else mother care if you want to go and check it out to see if you earn anything so yeah do go and check it out inshallah okay now i have heated my oven from before to gas mac nine i'm going to put that gas mac down to four and that goes like this as you can see and in goes as you can see the lemons are underneath and that goes in there for 15 to 20 minutes inshallah this minute and now I'm going to show you the second process of my mother dish some of my daughters like to grill some of my daughters like to fry in a like proper curry way so I have marinate, marinated I have marinated this salmon with paprika powder salt and one half a teaspoon of turmeric powder so, and I'm going to fry that now into, um, I think it's called um, rape, uh, yeah, rapeseed oil, which is good for the frying. And we're going to have that with steamed asparagus and mushroom sauce. And the mushroom sauce, I will show you how to make it, but can you see that they don't want cream in there? If you don't look some, I get the some. See if there's any double cream, oh no, I need double cream for the mushroom sauce. Is there any there? Not because no. Double cream? No. Oh. no. oh God, I need double cream for the mushroom sauce. You're fine. You're fine. I have some of the friends out there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to chop onions for the salmon, the one that I'm frying, and I'm going to chop, I'm going to grate a couple of garlic. As you all know, I love my garlics. So clove of garlic, which I have here, and I am going to now chop these onions. Slice them. Yeah, so I finished today at uh, Brain Cross and then I went and picked up my girls, went to my mom's house. Uh, my daughter's friend had a play day, so I took her with us. We made slime in my mom's. Um, I will pop a little clip of the slime that we made with the girls there. Yeah, so um, my sister lives next to my mom, so we just went there. Had a chit chat with the family. The girls went and you know played and had a lovely time. As usual, they always have some just time with their cousins. And I think it's very important to have good close relationship with your cousin, brothers, and sisters. And my yeah, and my mom obviously there. She loves it when we all go around. As you know, when we get old, we like to have our company. We like to you know. It's, 
Everybody likes to be in the company. They don't like to be by themselves and be lonely. So yeah, try to visit your parents, your, you know, grand, whomever, whenever you can. So, yeah, we went there, made the slime, dropped off my daughter's friend home. And now I came home and I put the dinner on. Well, oh, and I sh washed, obviously washed my girls. Showered them because they need to go and pray. Have you guys prayed Asar? Salat al -Asar. So done all of that now. And the mushroom sauce I'm going to... I'm going to show you guys it's delicious it's a white sauce mushroom white sauce with onions but that sauce comes out very nice with double cream or if you have any sort of single cream but obviously I don't have that today but I do have cream cheese so I'm going to go in with cream cheese and a little bit of mayonnaise I'm going to add to it so my onions are all chopped Um, what I like to do with my asparagus, I put a little bit of olive oil, put it in the pan for a bit and then just take it out after that. There's a very simple soup that I actually do, so if you guys would like to know how I make it, please do comment below in the comment box and let me know if you want me to show you know make the soup it's a very simple three ingredient soup very easy very delicious so yeah let me know if you guys want me to show you guys how to make that i will be doing inshallah a lot of vlogs that like outing like when i go out with my children but now since the school goes in i'm very busy that's why I will be doing a um, few reviews on some of the stuff, inshallah. And I have the mushrooms here now, as you can see. You can use any mushrooms, so I picked up those mushrooms today. Let's see, let's see this. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I, I don't have much mushroom, it's like I've got, you know, the one packet that you get, the small size, and I don't have much in there. Um, okay, 200 grams. 200 grams of mushrooms. Asparagus is done. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil into the one of the pan here. And I'm going to put the asparagus in there. Then I'm going to put a little bit of pepper, slight little bit of salt, Put it in the cupboard, I think. Don't find it. My kid goes to um, this um, tradition called first class learning. It used to be Kumon. They changed it into first class learning. Oh my god, it's just the pressure, the work. It is good, don't get me wrong. It's really good. You just need to sit with your children and go with them. So you have to, like, down point only, if you have to mark it yourself. And then if the children make like a mistake, you um, they give you an answer book, you go into the answer book, if they make a mistake, you circle it and get them to um, correct that. It is very good. It's just like sitting with them, getting them to do it, supervising them. It is a bit of a hard work, but you know, life is about hard work and challenges, so you just gotta get along if you're the best for you know your children. I'm sure we all want best for them that's why you know we all work extremely hard to take care of them to give them best as possible of life as they can get 
Oh, by the way, guys, please do share my videos. And um, if you're new to my channel, um, please subscribe and hit that like button. And please do put your comments on the description box down below on the comment box. It would be lovely to hear your comments. And all of you that has been supporting me so far, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. It means absolutely the world to me. I do have a, you know, couple of people that are really has been following me from the beginning, and they're really motivating me every time, and they really support me, and I'm really appreciate what they do. I really appreciate it. But I can't thank them enough. All of you watching my videos and liking it and sharing it, it really motivates me to do more. Please keep on supporting me. As you can see, that's the asparagus. Five minutes on the pan, I'll set it down now. Now I'm gonna go in with the mushroom sauce. I'm gonna put, there's a little bit of olive oil there, but I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm putting onions in there. You can put whatever onions you want. Diced garlic. Oh, I'm gonna wait for that. Wait till that actually goes a bit golden brownish. I'm gonna add a little bit more of olive oil. Now, fish. As you can see now, that's the onion. So I'm going to put pepper, pepper and salt, and then it will go in with the mushroom and the mayonnaise together. Salmon fish is done. Some basil. In goes the mushroom. Put the mushroom. Let's set the camera. Okay, now I'm going to leave the mushroom to soften while I take up the fried fish. Dana! As you can see, the second lot of the salmon fish will be going to fry now. 
This is what it looks like, the salmon. It's quite hot, so I don't want to touch it. This is what it looks like after it's been fried. And I'm going to put that into caramelized onion and shredded garlic and spices together with lots of about three tomatoes and lemon. I'll show you that. Let me just show them back now. As you can see, the garlic, the mushroom and the garlic and the onion. So now I'm going to go in with Now I'm going to go in with the mayonnaise, since I don't have no double cream, no um, cream cheese. This is a good alternative if you don't have, if you don't have double cream or um, what's it called, what's it called, cream cheese, you just put the mayonnaise and with the mayonnaise I'm going to put something else, the dairy cream. You go through the dairy cream. What the? The same as the double cream, yeah. This is one of my favorite, famous known um, white sauce, mushroom sauce. Everybody who has tried it, they all loved it. So please try and let me know how yours came out. Why do you use the dairy cream? The dairy cream, I use the dairy cream because obviously as I mentioned to you I didn't have double cream or um, cheese, um, cream cheese so my alternative was mayonnaise and the dairy um, dairy spray, the, what's it called? The, the real, real dairy cream, um, it's a sweetened version but it still works. It's a um, real dairy cream, so it's a sweetened version but it still works as good as um, double cream. Tastes exactly the same. Can I do this? Yeah. And this, you can have it with fish and chips, you can have it with salmon fish, with your um, steamed vegetable. It's just a really nice sauce to have it with. Like this. You need to wipe the avocado. Put it there, try to Oh, 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 the camera's got stuff all over it. Yes, yes my princess. You want to come, my baby? You want to see? Oh, you come now, Mama, because Mama's cooking. That's my baby at the background. They're not going to hear it, so they're going to say that. That's the last of the salmon fish that I fried. Obviously, as I told you, I fried that in rapeseed oil. That's my baby at the background. Want to come and see what's happening in the kitchen. Now it goes in with the sliced onion and shredded garlic. Now I'm going to wait for that to go tender and maybe ca caramelized. I'm going to put the lid on there. So what the lid does, it helps it to soften it, to, to um, get tendered. I don't know the actual word, do excuse my language. I think it's called um me. Excuse me, what is this? What? Oh she knows she had to wipe her mouth. Why are you wearing your shoes in the house? Are you special? <laughs> Give us some cinnamon stick.
It's been a minute. And I'm going to put sliced ginger. Can you see? Ginger. Oh. My um. sliced ginger goes in there. Oh. If you have lemongrass at home, you can use lemongrass in that dish as well. Now, in goes with my tomato, sliced tomatoes. Now it comes in salt to your taste. One tablespoon of red chili powder. One teaspoon of paprika powder. One teaspoon of turmeric powder. One teaspoon of coriander powder. One teaspoon of cumin powder and one teaspoon of cane peppers. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's not, if this is not pronouncing it, some pronunciation, I apologize in advance. And I'm going to give it a good stir. I'm going to add half a cup of water I do also make the asparagus with potato and salmon fish if you would like to see if you'd like to see this video of this please do the comment down below <coughs> excuse me so I'm gonna let that cook for three to four minutes I am gonna garnish that with coriander and um, green cheese Avocado. I do have a card with toast. If you'd like to see this as well, please do. You can also make avocado toast. Put a bit of salt, a bit of lemon juice, a bit of pepper, a bit of olive oil, smash it up and put it on top, spread it on top of your toast. Delicious. And the salmon has a beautiful base as you can see left no um, stickiness nothing it just came off so beautifully when you put the lemon uh, lemon uh, slice the lemon and put it on top of the lemon and the remaining lemon that's there just put it on the side and then you can just squeeze that into your oh, that one fell over there Oops, it is.
as you can see, mashallah, this is beautifully cooked. Now I'm going to go in with my my fried salmon and I will show you the magic of that. Can you get me coriander out please and green chilies, thank you. That's my big daughter, my oldest child helping me there. It's very important to have the children in the kitchen but I don't really let them come in because them and me don't really go on the kitchen because I say one thing, they say one thing but um, I am learning slowly to put them in there to get them learn. Sorry? It's like you never brought things. Can't you even speak English on YouTube? What do I speak English? Your English is broken, broken. How is it broken? In what way? My daughter says my English is broken. Guys, well, they are the new generation, we were the old generation, so obviously English is not going to be in the place, now, is it? No, Mama bought no, no, cauliflower. Uh. No, bought her lettuce. Uh. Like last week, and it says it expires on the 29th of June. She didn't know, but she wanted to use it today. Where's the green chilies? It's in the brown bag. Do you already have it out? It's in a brown bag. Brown bag. And coriander and in goes in with some lemon juice guys and on top of that I am going to put garam masala <gasps> garam masala I will be putting yeah, that's what you have there tea table Is that all the asparagus we had? Yeah. If you don't have garam masala, you have to go and get one. Because garam masala is, gives this aroma to your food. This aroma to your food. And it gives this little bit of a spice. You smash this. Yeah, I know. I, I am going to, my love. If you don't like the smell of the of the salmon, what you can do before you cook, you wash it and then you put lemon juice, a handful of lemon juice with salt, marinate it for half an hour and then you can do whatever you want to. All the smell just goes. And yeah. The smell goes, there's not that raw like sort of fish smell, it, it doesn't stay. And you can do that with any sort of fish. As you can see guys, this is the final stage of the dish that I did. Salmon curry and grilled salmon with white mushroom sauce. Please do try this at home. If you do like it, please comment down below. Please subscribe, like and share. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum.